Here, we are watching a caterpillar, a zombieified caterpillar, actively protect the thing that killed it. Hi, my name is Nancy. I am an entomologist, which means that I study insects, and I conduct my own personalized tours of Ecuador focused on insects, their incredible behavior, and their ecology. So here we have the caterpillar, and these little things that look like eggs that are underneath it are not eggs. These are the cocoons or the pupa of the wasp that is actively killing it. So how did this even happen? Once upon a lifetime ago, a female Burkhanid wasp found this caterpillar and with her ovipositor laid several eggs inside of it. Those eggs developed into larvae, which then continue to keep the caterpillar alive, but proceed to suck it dry. They probably ate almost all of the blood and they ate a whole bunch of the non-essential organs, basically just barely keeping this husk of a caterpillar alive. Once it was time, they emerged from the caterpillar and pupated or formed these cocoons. These cocoons are incredibly vulnerable to lots of other things like parasites, predators, and just generally the environment. They are no longer protected inside the caterpillar. Many other parasitoids complete almost their entire life cycle inside their host, so they're much more protected than these raconic cocoons that are just sitting out here in the open, can't move, can't do anything. To protect these vulnerable cocoons, several of the wasp larvae have stayed behind and self-sacrificed themselves for the greater good. They have migrated from inside the caterpillar from wherever they were to the head and the central nervous system. From here, they have taken control of and hijacked the caterpillar. Anytime anything gets too close as a potential threat, you can see I'm poking it here, these wasp larvae will make this zombified husk of a barely alive caterpillar headbang around and knock whatever potential threat away. What are some potential threats? This caterpillar could knock away some potentially small predators, or there's parasitoids that are looking to parasitize the parasitoids of this caterpillar, a little bit like Inception. So just like how the Perconid wasp initially laid its eggs inside this caterpillar, these parasitoids are looking for other wasps to lay their eggs inside of. So that's what's most likely this caterpillar is protecting against other parasitoids. These Perconid wasps are interesting because they pupate outside of the caterpillar. Many other parasitoids just complete their entire life cycle within the host, and so they don't really need to leave anyone behind to protect themselves. Not really sure how these mechanisms are working. We don't know who gets chosen or how they get chosen to stay behind and protect the rest of them. And we don't know how they are changing the caterpillar's behavior, whether it's a mechanical system or a chemical system or a combination of both. There's still a ton to learn about parasitoids.